Welcome to the OpenText Basic File 360 Document Retrieval video. In this video, we will cover the basic aspects of using OpenText Document Retrieval with the File 360 client. Note, most of this information will also apply to the File 360 browser-based client. These clients are designed to look and function the same, with only minor differences. To start File 360, double-click on either the File 360 icon on your desktop, or find it in the Windows Program menu. File 360 first requires you to identify yourself by passing in logon credentials. For this demo, we will do this manually. However, be aware your administrator can set up this logon to automatically occur based on your network logon credentials. This can be a simple auto logon configuration or work directly with your organization's Active Directory. To learn more about these options, please see the administrator's documentation and our tutorial videos. Your logon performs three functions. First, it prevents unauthorized users access to the system. Second, it simplifies the user's screen by only displaying functions that the user has access to. Third, it applies a user identification to your session, which allows an audit log to occur. Once you've logged into File360, you are presented with all functions in a single central screen. On this screen, you have access to Retrieval, Data Entry, a hit list area that is pinned in its current location but can be moved to provide easier access, and an image viewing area. There are other functions, but since we're talking about retrieval, we'll click on the retrieval area. Here we are presented with the applications and templates we have access to. Applications are collections of documents with common indexing needs that your admin has defined. These are typically divided up into business functional areas, such as AP and HR but this is up to your organization to design. Templates are custom search forms to meet your specific needs within or between applications. Templates are to be used to add logic and filtering to your searches. Multiple templates can be created to allow various retrieval and report functions to be more easily archived. When you've selected an application and template combination, you are presented with a search template. Within a template, you have the flexibility to perform various actions which will aid you in narrowing your search. For example, you can use logicals and conditional operators. Some of the conditional operators include equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater or equal to, less than or equal to, or a range, allowing you to search for ranges of values. Note. A default condition is assigned when your administrator created the template for the most common usage. When entering multiple field value, the AND OR logic is used to define the value in your search. Along with these logicals and the index values themselves, you can use the standard wildcards such as the asterisk and question mark in your searches. Note, it is not necessary to use a wildcard value in each field. A default wildcard will be displayed as you enter your information for the other fields. Now that you have all the values that you wanted to enter, you can submit your search. To do this, you can hit enter or click on the search button. Now that you've searched, all document indexes matching your criteria are displayed. They will be sorted and grouped as you specified. You can set an initial maximum value of, of document indexes to be displayed. If that value is reached, you can request the remaining items to be displayed or dismiss this message. After the hit list is displayed, you can perform further sorting, define filtering, define groups. These items can be set as default or used for only one session. Different viewing modes are available to suit different needs, such as multiple monitors, the default grid mode, docked, independent of search and viewing screen, or floating, also independent of search and viewing screens, and the viewing of thumbnails of the documents in your search results. In the grid mode, you will see icons on the left-hand side of the screen. For each document index, there are a number of status icons. Hovering over the icons will give you a short description of each of them. They indicate if the document in the row has any of the following features. Remarks, versions, keyword, a locked status, hovering over this icon will tell you who has it locked, and annotations. After the icons, you'll see the index field names, 
Each of these have sort and filtering features built in. Clicking on any of the index field names will change the sort based on that field from ascending to descending. To filter by the index value, click on the funnel icon. This will display the available filtering options, including the values that are in the list and several logicals. You also have the ability here to clear any filters you've created. Additionally, you can create prioritized sorting and filtering by dragging the index field name headers into the grouped by area. An additional option for manipulating the hit list results is using the output options. These can be found under the search criteria. The output options include the option to change your maximum number of returns, include expired documents, this is an administrator function only, the ability to append the current hit list, the ability to add and remove the fields that are shown, add sorting, and sort ordering to results. To add or remove fields, simply check or uncheck the box next to the field name. By default, the fields that were defined with your template will be checked. To add sorting to the hit list, choose the type of sorting and then add a sort order so that it will sort items by group. For example, by order number first and then by PO. There are many useful fields you can add to your search results like number of pages and the application it came from if you have a template that searches across multiple applications. Adding things to the search results means that more things have to fit on the screen. So if there are things that you don't use, you can remove them from the search results to make more room. Once you've made your changes, hit search and the new hit list will appear with the changes you've made. If you don't like the changes or want to return to the default, simply click reset. By default, any changes you make in the output options are for the current session only. Once you log out and back in again, they will return to the default settings. However, you can save the settings that you like by clicking on the hit list actions and choosing Save Hit List Layout. These will then become your default settings. When you have your hit list sorted and have found the documents or groups of documents that you are looking for, it is time to view them. Clicking on the plus icon on the hit list shows you a preview of the page along with a tab to view previous versions of the document. You can zoom in on the hit list images by using the slider on the left hand side. To view a document, simply select any of the fields in the row. For opening multiple documents, you can use the standard Microsoft Control and Shift Control options. You can also call the default view by double clicking on the thumbnail images or the items in the version list. The Open Text File 360 Viewer is a full function viewer that offers you all the standard viewing options, including but not limited to individual page view on the left hand side, printing, rotating, image adjustment, and zooming. Other additional advanced functions include items such as navigation and magnifier. To learn more about these functions and the viewer in general, please see our user's guide or the other instructional videos. Thank you for joining us.